All right, problem 47, I have this function, but it's a strange function. Uh, the height of the function is different based on whether your input is a rational number or an irrational number. So if your input is a rational number, your graph uh, is 3x squared, so you have this kind of standard parabola. These are all the rational numbers uh, stretched upwards a little bit. Uh, so you get a graph that looks something like this. Uh, but if your input is not a rational number, if it's an irrational number, then your height is going to be negative 5x squared. So it's stretched a little bit more, but it's also flipped over like this. There's a poor drawing of it. So here's your graph. You kind of oscillate back and forth between these two um, everywhere, right? Because between any two rational numbers, there lies an irrational number and vice versa. Uh, you specify any two irrational numbers, and I can find a rational in between it. So you're really jumping back and forth between these two things. And now you're asked some questions. Which of the following is true? F is discontinuous everywhere. Uh, no, that's not true. My function is continuous at zero. Because at zero, these two functions agree on their value. Um, and their derivatives would both be equal to zero. The derivative of this function would be 9x. The derivative of this one would be negative 10x. And in either case, when I plug in x equals zero, I get the exact same slope. So, um, so f is continuous at x equals zero, this is a false statement. Uh, maybe I'll write that. Continuous at x equals zero. f is continuous only at x equals zero, that's true. At any other point, the heights are very different. And differentiable only at x equals zero, that ends up being a true statement. This answer, B, will be the correct answer to this question. Um, to prove that the others are false, f is continuous only at x equals zero, that part's true. Non-differentiable, that's false. Uh, I don't know, f is continuous only at x equals zero. That's true, but this is false. It's differentiable at x equals zero, and that's because the derivative of each of these guys agree. Um, I don't know, f prime of x is equal to six x or negative 10 x, depending on whether x is rational or irrational. But when I'm really, really, really close to zero, each of these are approaching zero, I guess is a way you could say it. So this is false. This is false. F is continuous at any uh, rational number. No, that's absolutely false. Um, in fact, it's discontinuous at every rational number except for zero. But like the rational number five, for example, it's certainly discontinuous there. It goes a tiny bit to the right of five and a tiny bit to the left of the five. I jump way the hell down here. That's a false statement. Um, Maybe I'll keep track of these. That's false. Uh, and non-differentiable, that's false also, as I saw above. It's differentiable at zero. F is continuous at all irrational numbers. That's even more false, if that's possible, because it's, in fact, discontinuous at all irrational numbers. The only spot it's continuous is at zero, which is a rational number. And non-differentiable at all these guys. That's false, as we've said several times, because it's differentiable at x equals zero, because these two guys agree. So those are all false. That would make this guy here the correct answer. Um, so I guess I can kind of just stop this video here.